Yes, the Earth's axis has indeed shifted due to various factors, including human activities like groundwater pumping. This shift has caused a redistribution of water from underground reserves to the oceans, contributing to sea level rise. Between 1993 and 2010, the Earth's axis shifted by about 2.6 feet, approximately 31.5 inches, due to the massive extraction of groundwater. This redistribution of water affects the planet's rotation and can lead to changes in tidal patterns, global weather and climate stability. While these shifts have significant impacts, they don't necessarily balance the water distribution in a way that mitigates the effects. Instead, they contribute to ongoing changes in sea levels and climate systems. Is there a specific aspect of ocean changes or axis shifts you're particularly interested in? You're right. The replacement of groundwater can indeed influence inland flooding and storm patterns. When groundwater is depleted and then replaced, it can lead to changes in the local hydrology, potentially exacerbating flooding issues. For example, Barriers designed to prevent saltwater intrusion can sometimes worsen inland flooding by causing groundwater to rise to the surface. This can lead to more frequent and severe flooding, especially in low-lying areas. It's a complex interplay of factors, and managing groundwater levels is crucial to mitigating these effects. Are you interested in how specific regions are addressing these challenges? Groundwater pumping has both benefits and drawbacks. Here are some key points. Benefits 1. Reliable water source. Groundwater is often a more reliable source of water compared to surface water, especially in arid regions or during dry seasons. 2. Natural filtration. As groundwater moves through soil and rock layers, it undergoes natural filtration, which can make it cleaner and safer for drinking. 3. Agricultural support. Groundwater is crucial for irrigation, helping to sustain agriculture even when rainfall is insufficient. 4. Reduced evaporation. Unlike surface water, groundwater is less prone to evaporation, making it a more efficient water source in hot climates. Drawbacks 1. Depletion. Overpumping can lead to the depletion of aquifers, making it difficult to access water in the future. 2. Land subsidence. Excessive groundwater extraction can cause the ground to sink, leading to land subsidence, which can damage infrastructure. 3. Saltwater intrusion. In coastal areas, overpumping can lead to saltwater intrusion contaminating freshwater aquifers. 4. Pollution. Groundwater can become contaminated with pollutants that have long residence times, making it difficult to clean. Balancing the use of groundwater is essential to ensure its sustainability and to mitigate negative impacts. Are there any specific aspects of groundwater use you're curious about? Saltwater intrusion occurs when saltwater encroaches into freshwater aquifers, which can happen due to natural processes or human activities. Here are some key points about its causes and impacts. Causes 1. Overpumping of groundwater. Excessive extraction of groundwater lowers the water table, allowing saltwater to move inland. 2. Sea level rise. Rising sea levels driven by climate change push saltwater further into coastal aquifers. 3. Reduced recharge, decreased rainfall and increased surface water runoff reduce the natural replenishment of freshwater aquifers. Impacts 1. Contamination of drinking water. Saltwater intrusion can make freshwater sources too salty for human consumption, leading to water scarcity. 2. Agricultural damage. Increased salinity in soil and water can harm crops, reducing agricultural productivity. 3. Infrastructure damage. Salt water can corrode pipes and other infrastructure, leading to increased maintenance costs. 4. Ecosystem disruption. Changes in salinity can affect freshwater ecosystems, harming plants and animals that rely on low salinity environments. Mitigation strategies. 1. Managed aquifer recharge. Replenishing aquifers with treated wastewater or stormwater can help maintain the freshwater saltwater balance. 2. Regulating groundwater extraction. Implementing policies to limit groundwater pumping can prevent excessive depletion. 3. Coastal barriers. Constructing barriers to prevent saltwater from moving inland can protect freshwater resources. Saltwater intrusion is a complex issue that requires careful management to protect freshwater resources. Are you interested in how specific regions are addressing this problem?
Subterranean salt plate deposits can significantly impact the ground above them. Here are some key effects. 1. Land subsidence. Salt is highly soluble in water. When water infiltrates these deposits, it can dissolve the salt, creating cavities underground. Over time, these cavities can cause the ground above to sink or collapse, leading to land subsidence. 2. Sinkholes. If the dissolution cavities are large and shallow, the ground above can collapse suddenly, forming sinkholes. This can be particularly hazardous in areas with significant human activity, such as mining or drilling. 3. Infrastructure damage. Subsidence and sinkholes can damage buildings, roads and other infrastructure. This can lead to costly repairs and pose safety risks to communities. 4. Environmental impact. Changes in the landscape due to subsidence and sinkholes can disrupt local ecosystems, affecting plant and animal life. 5. Water contamination. Dissolved salt can contaminate groundwater, increasing its salinity and making it unsuitable for drinking or irrigation. Managing these risks involves careful monitoring and regulation of activities that might lead to salt dissolution, such as groundwater extraction and mining. Are you interested in how specific regions manage these challenges? Several regions around the world are affected by subterranean salt plate deposits. Here are a few notable examples. 1. The United States. The Gulf Coast region, including parts of Texas and Louisiana, has extensive salt domes. These salt deposits can lead to land subsidence and sinkholes. The Michigan Basin also has significant salt deposits, which have been mined for various uses. The dissolution of these deposits can cause ground instability. 2. Europe. Countries like the Netherlands and Germany have salt deposits beneath the North Sea. These deposits are often associated with land subsidence and infrastructure challenges. 3. The Middle East. Countries like Saudi Arabia and the United Arab Emirates have extensive salt deposits. These can lead to issues with groundwater salinity and land subsidence. 4. Australia. Western Australia has significant salt deposits, which can impact groundwater quality and lead to land subsidence. 5. Mexico. The Baja California Peninsula has salt deposits that can affect groundwater and lead to land subsidence. These regions face various challenges related to salt deposits, including groundwater contamination, land subsidence and infrastructure damage. Are you interested in how any specific region is affected? One notable example of a region with current salt crystals is the Wilitzka salt mine in Poland. This mine is famous for its extensive underground chambers filled with salt crystals, some of which formed during the Miocene Epoch. The crystal salt chambers, located over 80 meters below ground level, are particularly renowned for their unique and beautiful salt crystal formations. Another example is the La Popa Basin in northeastern Mexico, where large salt deposits are present. This area is known for its visible salt outcrops and underground salt formations. These regions highlight the fascinating geological processes that create and preserve salt crystals underground. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to smash that like button, subscribe to join the tribe, and to the complaints of the channel. I respond to debatable fact. We have no general complaints department. You have such wonderful voices. Maybe we could give it a little rest so it stays that way. Thanks. Levand Media.